First at 5 o'clock, the Tulsa County DA will decide whether three poll workers could face criminal charges after a voting investigation at an East Tulsa precinct. Thanks for joining us. I'm Craig Day. And I'm Lori Fulbright. The county election board says about 30 people did not receive a ballot to vote for a city council race. News on 6 is Amy Slanchik is live with more on what happened. Amy. Lori and Craig, the incumbent is hoping a judge will have the final say on what to do about this tight race, but his opponent doesn't think that'll make a difference. The District 5 City Council race results show just 28 votes separate incumbent Mikey Arthrell from challenger Grant Miller. Arthrell says he plans to file an irregularity claim by Friday, which would pivot the issue to the courts after the election board said yesterday about 30 voters did not receive a ballot for the race. The result of this election hinged on those votes. Miller doesn't believe going to the courts will change anything and hopes those voters' decisions were already accounted for. The election board has not said whether whether anyone who didn't receive a ballot in the morning came back to the polls later to vote. I assume that they did their due diligence. They had 12 hours to get a hold of those voters. Miller shot this video at the precinct with the problems after getting calls from voters. So you did deny Republicans city council? Yes, we made a mistake. In a news conference yesterday, Tulsa County Sheriff Vic Rigolato, who endorsed Miller, said this about who was impacted. The pollsters did indeed, in fact, get interviewed and confirmed that they did not hand out yellow ballots ballots, which were the city council ballots, uh, to Republicans, and they were only handed out to independents and Democrats. Minutes later, Tulsa County Election Board Secretary Gwen Freeman gave specifics on who was not given a ballot. The breakdown on those voters, as we can see, this is as best as we can find. There were 19 Republicans, seven Democrats, four independents, and one libertarian that were denied the city council. Uh, ballots. Mayor G.T. Bynum saw both candidates outside City Hall today and had this to say on 6 in the morning. I'm operating under the premise that Grant Miller won the campaign last night. Lori reached out to congratulate him on that, but we'll wait and see uh, what happens between today and whenever that election is certified. And the results of the election are set to be certified on Friday. This issue could go before a judge next week. Live in Tulsa, Amy Slanchik, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.